welcome to the another master cam tutorial from cam force after seeing this video you will be able to create pocket toolpath in master cam pocket toolpath is the option to clean out the material from a enclosed boundary suppose you want to machine out the entire material from a boundary you can use the pocket toolpath here we will go to the demo the same 3D model file made available on the description. Those who doesn't have Mastercam, the downloading link also given in the description. So go to machine, select mill, then default. Then select the pocket toolpath, so change the machining region and click OK. Now in the parameters, keep the tool type as pocket. In the tool parameter, select the library tool and select the suitable tool for the machining this. I will select here 10 mm end mill. Provide the speed, feed and the plunge rate. Plunge rate is the Z axis plunging motion feed rate. Then the cut parameters. I recommend to use climb milling in the CNC machines and ensure the pocket type is selected as standard. Roll around the corners is none. In case you need any stock to leave on the walls and floors, can be specified here. Go to roughing tab. Here you can control all the roughing parameters. First, I am going to choose the cutting method. Mastercam will generate the following cutting pattern for the roughing motions. Here we have zigzag motion, parallel spiral, true spiral and many more. This is selected based on the profile geometry. Here I have selected an even shape geometry so I will choose parallel spiral option. I need to specify the step over percentage that is XY advancement after previous path. So I will specify here 60% of tool diameter that is 6 millimeters, and also enable spiral inside to outside. This will give a uniform cutting from center and towards outside. Entry motion under roughing tab, I have turned it off. I will be explaining this advanced option in the coming tutorials. Now go to depth cuts, enable, max rough cuts I have gave here 3 millimeters, and keep tool down for every depth of cuts. Finally the linking parameters. Clearance is the escape side plane value which is used while multiple pockets. I will set it as 50 mm absolute. Retract is the escape side plane value which is used while processing the same pocket. I will set it as 5 mm absolute. And feed plane is the set plane which tool can come rapidly down. I will give it as 1 mm. For saving time, I will set it into incremental. Top of stock is the stock starting set value. Most of the time, this will be 0. And depth is the final set value that the tool need to remove the material. I will enter the depth value here. That's it. Click OK. Now the tool path successfully generated. We will backplot this operation now. Now we can see the tool plunges in the first depth with a plunge rate and profile being machined with a feed rate. Material removal process is done inside to outside with a parallel motion. First depth is completed, then the tool moves to center. Again tool plunges the next depth of cut and process continues. Entire material inside our geometry successfully machined. Now we will learn about wall finishing options in the pocket toolpath. To enable this option, go to parameters from the toolpath browser, finishing, enable the finish, choose how many finish passes required. I will enter one pass. The spacing is the XY step over used for the finishing pass. 0.2 mm would be ok. Now it will use one wall finishing pass with 0.2 mm material step over. Keep tick on finish outer boundary. While switch on the second option, tool path will look for the nearest place where roughing motion ends and keep tool down option will ensure the tool does not retract between the roughing and finishing. 
Also we can enable this option to get the finish pass only at the final depth. Otherwise wall finishing will be attempted in every depth of cuts. So switch this on. Override feed speed will allow a special feed rate and the spindle speed for the finishing motions. And that's it. Click apply. After making any changes in the tool path, it need to be regenerated from here. Now we will able to see one finish pass is added to the tool path. From the isometric view, it is clear that finishing pass only on the final depth. We can also enable the lead in and lead out to get smooth entry, exit and overlap for your finishing passes. I will give tangent entry. Line and arc I use 30% of tool diameter and the sweep angle is 45 degrees. Copying the same thing on the exit and provide a 2mm of overlap. Overlap is the extra additional travel between the lead in and lead out. For more details about the lead in and lead out options, refer our previous tutorial which is also given in the description box. After regeneration we could see that the lead in lead out option is come for our finishing passes. Now we will do the 3D machine simulation of this tool path. Before going to that. Ensure that you have specified the stock setup for this operation. Go to machine menu, click on simulate. This will show you a real machining simulation on a CNC machine. And that's all for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we will be explaining the custom plunge point, ramp, helix and motions, and open pocket machining method. All of our viewers can download the 3D model from the description and do it as a challenge access. Subscribe our channel for the new tutorials and comment your feedbacks and doubts. Happy learning. Bye.